Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode of our Draw Design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I went about in creating this church flyer in Coral Draw. Of course, like we've done in previous videos before, we're going to arrive at this. So if you don't mind, if you've not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification if you've not done that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is click on file and um, of course this dialog box is going to come up. So over here the name, I'm just going to put what um, I want to do with this flyer. That is the name of the flyer I'm about to create. So of course RGB, the size 5x5 five five, and resolution stays at 300 inches please, not pixels. Good. So double click on this rectangle to have a replica of it. Now, if it doesn't work for you, depending on your color version, remove the outline, right? So this is what you would do. This is what I have here, right? You can go to your rectangle, your rectangle, and immediately come up here and set it to five by five. Click enter, and of course, you have the size of the page. Just press P on your keyboard to send it to the center of the page. Give it a white color, and this is what you have. Easy peasy like that. Okay, now that that is done, let's move on with the next thing. So over here, I have my resource file. Please, if you like to use the same resource file, the link is in the description of this video. So do well to click on the link. That takes you to where to download this file as well. So I'm, bring, I'm going to bring this in like this, and I'm just going to increase the size. Hold down Shift while you're doing this. All right, increase it like this. Click on transparency, fountain fill, and click on this one. This one here. Right? So go to the peak two. I'm going to move this up. But then I don't like the direction of uh, I don't like the direction, so I'll just click on this to change direction like this. Right? Make it bigger slightly not too much just like this and I'm going to duplicate this ctrl C and ctrl V and bring this downwards select the two of them ctrl G move this aside and right click power clip and click on the rectangle itself double click to assess it when you click on it click on um, edit right click on it like this and now you can move this in place where you want it to be now of course if you've gotten the location where you want it to be or you still want to increase the size like I'm doing right now you can also do that too then when you're done with everything click on what finish and click out right so um, we have this done so I'm just going to go back to my text tool and I'm just going to type what I need to type here Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use um, this to type this out. So this is April, right? So I'm just going to increase this out like this. I'm 
going to over to the text tool again type this out and use this and make it a little bit smaller not too big so it's just going to sit here but then again i need this projected out well so i'll go over to my rectangle to i'm just going to draw a rectangle like this and of course go over to selection to i'm going to select the text shift page up to bring it up because if i apply color like that the rectangle will be on top of it hold down control while you're clicking on yellow and fill up with color like this so make this white remove the outline from this so it's april our month of all round increase that's the message right great to select this one i'm going to extend it out a bit click on it and i'm going to skew it like this okay great so let's move on select everything and um, slightly make it bigger not too big just like this is okay so i'll go over and finish this off with um, a couple of text and editing okay so there you have it so it's very very important when you're designing that your typography and your font and your typeface is standing out on its own right because once you have that sorted out your design and your other elements will actually fall in place in as much as you know what you're actually doing right so that's why it's important to also know the fundamentals and the basics of graphic design right it's very important negative space and the rest of it right so i'm just going to bring this in next and basically it's going to be a drag and drop if you cannot drop and drag and drop use the import command so i'm going to flip this upside down like this when i do that move this in place here and i'm just going to rotate it like this and move it closer to this place here so I'm just going to cut this double click on the rectangle because I have things inside already and I'm just going to paste this here like this right so instead of doing the whole power clip just cut and double click on the rectangle and paste it inside make a duplicate copy of this move it aside here like this and I'm just going to rotate this this way 
so I'm just going to bring in the image of the pastor himself bring it in it seems to be bigger so we'll reduce the size now it's also important that when you're getting pictures for your design make sure your picture is a high quality picture right for your design Because you can have a very very good design and at the end of the day your picture is crappy and it just um, has a really really bad outlook on the design itself so it's really good to use quality images in your design so I'm just gonna make this like this and um, let me push it this way good I think it's in a good place right um, slight changes I want to make changes to the one at the back so let me bring this one down and make sure I'm selecting that yes good no move this out of the way entirely select this and increase it like this so it goes up extend it holding down shift like this and I'm just going to bring this closer to this like this way I'm going to add some extra blow to this Gaussian blow and I'm just going to leave this this way and voila I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to flip it and I'm just going to bring this here and um, place it here and there you go guys right and uh, most times you don't have to have uh, um, too many elements in your design for it to actually make sense it could just be one two three four five six elements or even four elements in your designs and your design is top-notch right so in designing generally less is more so I'm just going to add uh, some bit of effect make this white move the outline and um, go to transparency click on it click on this one fountain fill and click on this one elliptical fountain fill right I'm gonna bring this here so that you have like a light effect at the base of the increase duplicate it ctrl C and ctrl V and I'm just going to make this one smaller here like this I'm going to duplicate this one ctrl C ctrl V put this one here make sure it's at the base and then also have a duplicate copy of it and put this one at the far end here okay great So I'm just going to throw in the name here of the pastor and make some final edits and yep, put this in place. Great. okay so to spice it up i'm just going to adjust the picture first i'm going to do auto adjust you can see how little difference I've made but the major one is i'm going to click on adjust and click on this 
this is the tone curve just like what you have in photoshop so i don't want this so i'm just click on reset i'd used this before that's why it's this way so click on reset this is what you have so i'm just going to make slight changes so just like the levels and the curves you have in photoshop this is more like the curves not the levels so you increase the brightness of the image and there you go everything is looking nice and good all right guys this brings me to the end of this video. if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe guys i love you all